r slash ask reddit. What is a way to be a cool uncle aunt? How cool of you to ask. I have my three nephews over to play with my son. At least three times a week. They need a break from home and my sister could use the help. I do suppose it would differ with ages. Mine range from 7-12. But I try to keep lots of little crafts. And paints. They love to just glue crap to other crap. Always have drawing paper and coloring utensils. We also have tons of Lego so sometimes I will get on the floor with them for hours and we will just build stuff. Cardboard box fort. Cardboard and foam weapons. Cardboard armor. And paint and markers to decorate it all. Let them move in with you when their mom gets scared. Also. If they get hustled by some jerk playing pool. Go hustle them back. Finally and most importantly. Don't show them affection. Then when their dad blows them off. The hug will be powerful enough to make grown men watching the show cry. When they're little they will want to play all the time. Mum and dad have stuff to do and would love to play too. But can't. To be a cool uncle aunt. Always be ready and willing to play no matter whether it's Barbies. Legos. Catch. A nonsense game the kids made up. Whatever. They'll love it. Teach them fake swear words. Only show up once a year with a brand new phone. I had a dream last night in which my nephew begged me to walk him to school over a railroad rather than the regular way. Please. Please can we go through the train tunnel. So getting him killed. According to my dreams. I have a 3 year old nephew. I try to be cool, but you know that when you are the adult. You are actually super. Not cool anymore. I give him crayons and sweets sometimes. And we watch movies together. Take them places they want to go that their parents don't have the time for, craft stores. Take them to restaurants their parents want to try but haven't yet. Take their favorite activity and make a day of it. My niece likes to get coffee and wander Target. I took her for coffee and then introduced her to at home. She was entirely in love. YMMV. My niece is a teenager. Share your hobbies. They don't have to be outrageous or anything. One of my aunts showed me how to make jewelry and ribbon flowers. Which I thought was really neat. Also. Don't say you'll take your niece's nephews to bars and teach them how to drink or do drugs. Like my deadbeat uncle told my mom. I plan to roast him if he ever tells me that. Because I'm underage and he knows that. Ask your niece or nephew what they need or things they'd like to do. Then check out the requests with their parents to be sure it's okay. Let the kids lead the way. Experiences. Toys. Do something with them rather than just give them something. Learn magic sleight of hand tricks. Then when you see your nieces and nephews show them one or two tricks and leave them wondering how you did it and wanting more. If they figure out how you do it then teach them how they can do it themselves. Treat them with respect and listen to them. But let them know you are the adult. Kids don't know when to quit so you have to set the boundaries and tell them it's time to stop and that nut punches hurt Uncle Monday. Most importantly love them and play with them lots. Be helpful and resourceful. Read books with them. Bring them that special snack they never get otherwise. Send them real letters through the mail. Ask them about their hopes and dreams. Basically. Take time to treat them like they're valuable. If they tell you something personal. Nothing dangerous or anything like that. Keep it to yourself. If it puts the kid in any kind of danger. Of course tell their parents. Otherwise. Keep the kids confidence and don't just chit chat about it with their folks or others. Listen. A lot of kids need non-parental. Non-judgmental adult role models that don't judge. Just listen. Give him a Playboy magazine. My cousins think my dad is uber cool. As my dad drives a Porsche 911. Whenever me and my dad get to see my cousins, only once a year. As my dad and uncle rarely speak. He takes them round the block for a spin in the Porsche. Well since my favorite relative is my uncle. I can tell you this. Be supportive and listen to your nephew niece. Try to understand their points of view and encourage them to think by themselves and to pursue and learn about the things they love. Parents are here to raise the children the best way they can and to give them direction in life. 
but you are here to broaden their horizons and to understand them when parents just aren't able to. Also. Be funny. Give good tips in sports and video games. Find the noisiest most obnoxious gifts you can think of. And they will love you for it. And your siblings will hate you for it. It's a win-win. Never forget a birthday. I used to take my nieces and nephew to activities like the zoo and movies to give my sister a break every couple of months. I'd take them on the train to downtown and we'd make a day of it. The biggest thing is to do things with them. Pay attention to them and play with them. Play their make-believe games and be all in. My brother-in-law takes my kids out for breakfast whenever he comes to visit. For a little kid that's a big deal. Do stuff like that. The main thing is do what they are into and they will love you for it. When I can be around them I share everything with them. Ever since they were little. If I was going somewhere I'd let them tag along. For teenagers. Just don't believe crazy things. Seem like the sane and rational one compared to their parents. I love being an uncle. I FaceTime my sister probably about every other day to say hi but also to say hi to my niece and nephew. 3 you and 1 yo. They recognize me. Know my name. And every time I go back home to visit. I enjoy playing with them and spending time with them. Simply be there and be a part of their lives I think is the way to be a cool uncle aunt. Also give them gifts. Listen. Sometimes. Kids just need another body to talk to who isn't their parent. Don't have your own kids. You won't have the time, energy, or money to be the cool aunt uncle anymore. Got a college age niece or nephew? Don't ask them about their majors or their post college plans. Other nieces or nephews of any age? Do you ask them about their funniest friend and why they're so damned funny? Let the kids be themselves and play with them using their rules for their make-believe games. I've got three kids. You want the simple answer? Show interest. You probably think whatever show they're watching is idiotic. And I can almost guarantee the music they're into will give you a migraine. Trust me. I know. My kid listens to mumble rap. Here's the thing. It's extremely important to them. So. Take the time to learn what they're into and don't be negative about it. They'll love you for it. Just be interested in them and what they have to say. Don't treat him like dumb kids but as individuals. Pay attention and validate their opinions. If they are toddlers just play with them. Be gay and fabulous. Or gay and badass. Either one. But not just for kids. In general. Last night we were on FaceTime with my 3 year old's aunt. Her and her daughter read my son a book over the video. He thought that was really cool. What I think goes furthest is interest in their life and what they like don't like. I don't see family often but I keep all the cards and drawings the children of the family send me. I always call to say thank you and to praise them for their writing and whatever they may have drawn. Also don't get bad generic gifts. Talk to them about what they like. Stay up to date with whatever the latest craze is. Ask them why they like it with genuine interest. Have a good relationship with your sibling too. Children will pick up on that. Take the nephew niece out to do something along the lines of whatever they are interested in. For example. If they like astronauts. Take them to a space museum. I think simply being around a lot is a good way. Making sure they're not bored when you are around and trying to respect when they have to say something even if they're just a kid and it might not be smart. You just sorta want them to have a lot of familiar, likable memories around you and I think it'll make you much closer as they grow up. Stay at home. And don't visit them. That little brat probably has the Rona. First birthday gift. Cup that is shaped like a rocket that scoops bath water and blasts off pouring water over the kid. Second birthday gift. Moving spaceship light mural thing. Third birthday gift. Cause and effect launch pad where you jump on an airbag and the rocket shoots off air pressure. Fourth birthday gift. A water rocket that you pump air into it. Fifth birthday party. A model rocket launch and retrieval display with D motor. My nephew now knows every planet in order along with their moons and the dwarf planets. He can tell you when Uranus and Neptune were discovered and knows that scientists used Jupiter and its moons to calculate the speed of light. I am helping inspire a real life astronaut. 
laugh when they are annoying their parents. I actually can't help but reinforce bad behavior like this but has put me in the position of cool uncle quite solidly. HTTPS colon slash slash www.reddit.com slash r slash ask reddit slash comments slash for oyww slash what's underscore your underscore favorite underscore story underscore of underscore playing underscore hide underscore the slash take them to see movies a few weeks before avengers came out i arranged with my friends to take their kids to the midnight showing with me the day before i casually brought it up to their parents and asked if they could come with me the kids immediately started begging while the parents pretended to heavily consider it Check Mark Rober on it. Buy crafts and give them experiences that they will remember and tell everyone about. My niece thinks I'm so cringe I'm only 24. I have three nephews all under 5. And I've been practicing close up magic during this quarantine so when I see them again. I can absolutely blow their minds. That's probably one of my favorite things about being an unto kid so young. Everything is new and amazing and magical. To 2. Water Park. Show interest. You don't have to spend money on us but listen. Spend time with us. My uncle and I were neighbors when I was away at college and it helped so much to have someone I could talk to anytime and vet fears. Insecurities. Worries and just chat. He helped me so much and still does. Treat your nephews nieces like their opinions matter and are interesting. If they got a sad or funny story to tell. Say things like that's sad or that's funny in a confident tone. My brother is the uncle to my son that I wish we had as children. He actually gives a fuck and it's awesome. He'll play with my son for hours. Actively shows an interest in what he's showing him, hard to do with a 3 year old, and genuinely puts effort into spending time with him. My brother doesn't really have any interest to have kids of his own. So he gets it in in the way of being the cool uncle. I don't know what is cool now. But I used to play a lot of Polly Pockets with my nibblings. Pretty much just play with them and their toys. Reenact a smurf adventure. Or an old D&D plot with them and their toys. Follow the story if they lead. Do funny voices. Create funny characters. Steal from your life. One of my niece's stuffed dinos was named Kingfish and I would talk in Kingfish's voice. They had a stuffed cat that was a stoner. Build things with them. Like build a simple motor. Hard drive magnets. Some rights. A battery. They keep that shit forever. Carve pumpkins with them. Get those little assaw kits. They don't cut skin but work on pumpkins. Use the easy bake oven with them. Or the real oven. Show them how to cook eggs and pancakes. Treat them like tiny people. Don't stop using big words. Don't make them share if they don't want to. Hold them accountable softly. Teach them random things. Take them to museums. Talk to them about what they see. Play video games with them. Learn how to yo-yo. Two nephews and one niece. Two. Two. And six. I quite literally talk to them like they are grown people and we both find it pretty amusing. Also the classic. If they really like something then I act completely ignorant to it. Even if I am not. It's funny for me to see their mind spin over how wrong I am about things and they get super interested in schooling me on what I don't know. Uncle Yamaha 2000 as pays cash for feats of jacassery and stupidity. Last one was at Thanksgiving. Five dollars to the first kid that googles poop knife and reads the definition out loud. Five dollars bonus to the kid who explains poop knife to Aunt Pam at the dinner table. Give out cash. Don't say bad things about your niece's nephew in front of them at all. Show interests. And just don't be a snob. And for people who might see this. The reason I said the first reason. Is because my aunt said that on one of my special occasions and I heard some of it and yeah. She's a snob. Oh well. I'm not getting noticed anyway. Cool is relative. No pun intended. I had an uncle who was really fucking weird. He probably had Asperger's. Of all the birthday and Christmas gifts I ever got. He got me really interesting stuff. He saw my interests and fed them beyond what I knew I already liked. Get a boat. I have one niece, 10, 
and one nephew, four, both my brother's kids, and it's so easy being an aunt. I know what type of stuff they like and buy them presents randomly related to that. I would take them on random day dates, usually lunch, the park, the toy or bookstore, and then drop them off to their parents. Basically just be their friend and also an adult. Like I still got to check them sometimes but they're pretty great kids. I buy my niece books that I used to like at that age and my nephew likes to dance so we put on music videos and dance together. Drugs and hugs. Don't be a creep. Every gift you buy must be an annoyance to your sibling. Drums? Nerf guns? Laser tag? Do it. Plus you are the one who pushes the lines. Mom won't let them eat junk. Bring chocolate. Allow whatever mom and dad don't allow and you'll be a hero for the little one. It will put a strain on your relationship with your brother sister though. Give your nephew niece some cool piece of technology. For example. A desktop PC loaded with cool software for learning stuff in addition to games. I owe my overall successful IT career to my late uncle who gave me my very first computer as a kid. Become Mark Rober. Be the first one to introduce them to polynomials. Always try to do new and fun things, sometimes they might really like one thing over and over again. But simple enough that it won't drain your bank account. You can easily buy a ball of string and set it up in a hallway to make lasers and have them be spies. You can get a whole ton of cardboard boxes and visit on a rainy day to make an indoor fort. Go to a dollar store and buy a crap ton of cheap sketchbooks and coloring books and cheap pencils markers etc. I know my nephews love to color and draw but we'd only have printer paper and that's kinda expensive so getting a few cheap sketchbooks really helps.